I'm gonna be making baked pork chops in the oven with brown gravy but I'm not gonna add the brown gravy until later I'm just gonna add all the pork chops off in here and season it let me season this first portion and you don't have to add a lot of seasoning off in there because you're gonna go back and add seasoning at the end and I'm gonna be using garlic salt and season of salt okay put the rest put up you don't see that big ass gap right there I'm trying to get it and I'm gonna add some more seasoning And these gonna cook less than an hour. Probably about, I'm gonna say about mm, anywhere from 45 minutes to 60 minutes. It's gonna cook. And then after that, you add your, your gravy off in it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water off in it so it won't get dry and burn while it's off in the oven. And you don't have to add a lot of water. Go put some water off in here. Fill it up. You don't have to add a lot of water, but I'm gonna fill it up to cover half of the pork chops. Okay, I'm just finished pouring the water over it and that's good enough so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put some foil over it and then stick it off in the oven and like I said this is gonna cook like about 45 minutes to 60 minutes and I'll be back Okay, my pork chop, my pork chops are ready, and now I'm supposed to make the gravy. And I'm just using a brown gravy package to make the gravy. Can you give me a spoon, please? If you get too thick, you just need to add a little of the juice to it to thinning it out before you put it off in there. Because if you don't, you'll make chunks. So I'm supposed to add the rest of the package off in there. You don't, you don't want to add too much water off into the gravy package because then you have more water then. You know, gravy. And I'm just trying to thin it up a little. It looks like chocolate. And you want to use this own juice to make your gravy. You don't want to add water. Hold on sink off into it. And you see it's starting to loosen up now. So now all I'm going to do is add it off in there slowly and make sure you put it everywhere. And then you just get your fork and just mix it up there. And that's how you make your brown gravy.
very easy. I'm going to use another package because I like my gravy thick. So I'm going to use another package of gravy. Okay, I'm going to let it cook for another 10 minutes just so the gravy can thicken up a little bit. But as you see, you can see it already thickening up from the heat. From the heat, so I'm just gonna leave it off for now for 10 more minutes and then be ready. Okay, this is how my pork chops and gravy look. And I hope y'all like this video and give me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all later. Bye. And subscribe at the bottom.